Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be video number one for a Black Friday preparation series. This is something I did for a team of the season last year and I kinda wanna keep it going for the big time promos in foot. So we'll probably do this for Black Friday, team of the year, team of the season, maybe foot birthday, we will see. But I just wanna take a look at some things leading up to Black Friday. I know this seems very early, we're like a week and a half away still from Black Friday coming out, but this is big time information that we need to talk about because it's related to a lot of content that's gonna come out in the next week and in the week after that during Black Friday with SBCs, Icon SBCs, and then of course all the other player SBCs that will come out during the Black Friday timeframe. It's a big time on foot, and this is the perfect time where EA is trying to put out a lot of squad building challenges so that we can drain our coins, right? So people on FIFA can drain their coins right before Black Friday comes out, so that could possibly entice them to buy more packs. So today we're gonna to be talking almost explicitly about SBC fodder prices right now. We've got player of the months that are coming out. We've got that Hyun Min Sun SBC that is available on the market. That's the first big player of the month that we were expecting this month. It's already come out. We're expecting a Lewandowski and possibly um, Mbappe or Ben Yedder coming out in the next few days or up to the week as well. So that's gonna affect the fodder market. People are investing in SBC fodder, by the way, right now, as you guys know, and the prices are rising. So we're gonna talk about that as well. But let me actually start off by explaining what exactly is SBC fodder because I do have some people ask me, what is Fodder. Well, just to explain it this way, SBC Fodder is basically the uh, cheap cards, the cheapest players for that rating that people use for SBCs, right? So David Silva in this game is a 86 rated, 86 rated card, David Silva, right? Not many people are using this card in their team, in FIFA Ultimate Team. So this guy would be a perfect example of a fodder card because basically he is used for nothing but SBCs. That's what a fodder card is. And this stuff has been rising in the past basically week because people knew that that Sun SBC was coming and people know that possibly Icon SBCs are coming later this week as well. But this kind of pertains to Black Friday because we're leading up to Black Friday. There's a lot of SBCs that come out during Black Friday. And um, I just wanna kind of get you guys in the loop on SBC fodder and my thoughts on it. So again, a lot of this stuff is going upwards in price. Uh, as you can see, we've got a couple of graphs here. Let's take a look at David Silva, for example. Where has this price been in the past two weeks? David Silva was 12,000 coins, rising, of course, from the beginning of the game at 7,000 coins. So obviously, people start to invest in this SBC fodder stuff early on, right? People start investing in SBC cards early on in the game because they know they're just going to rise. Because at the beginning of the game, there's no SBCs coming out that require 84, 85, even all the way up to 89 or 91 rated players just because there's no SBCs that are coming out. If there's any that are coming out, they're 82 or 83 rated squads at the most. So right now what you're seeing is, and this is one graph I'm gonna look at a lot today, this is the index 86, right? This is taking all the 86 rated gold cards in the game, adding up their prices and putting it together in sort of an index. And you can see here that ever since the first week of the game, this stuff has been trickling upwards in price. And right now we are at our highest point because a lot of these cards continue to rise up because of what we saw last year on the foot market. And that is what I wanna show you right now. So. Last year, this SBC came out. Basically, what we're coming into is the week before Black Friday. The week before Black Friday last year, we had a base icon upgrade SBC, and this was game-changing. This was huge for the game of FIFA because this was the first time in this section, this early part of the game, that we had a base icon upgrade that was repeatable and people went crazy for it. Look at this, 500K the first day that it came out. And by the way, this SBC was dropped, I think it was on a Thursday or a Friday, it was at 3 p.m. UK, so they dropped the content. Nothing happened for two hours, and then all of a sudden, they dropped this SBC, and the market went wild. The market went crazy. There were icons that were getting panic sold, and we'll talk about that stuff a little bit more later this week as well when we specifically look at the icon SBCs. Today, we're just kind of looking at fodder themselves, uh, but... You can tell, right? People were not expecting this. There was not really a lot of investing and the cards shot up a bunch. So day one, 500K, two days later on the weekend, it's 625,000 coins and it kind of goes down from there. 
as we actually go into Black Friday on the next weekend. So I just wanted to kind of point this out though. And when you look at all these graphs from last year, right? This is what happened to PK. He was 20,000 coins the day before the SBC. He went all the way up to 40,000 coins. He was basically extinct uh, at like 42 to 45K on that Saturday, two days after the SBC had been released uh, because people went crazy for this, right? Now, this year, is the market gonna do the same thing? That There's a lot of things that kind of rest on that question. The first thing is we actually have to get an SBC like we got last year that is a base icon. And the key thing about that base icon that made the market rise so much was it was repeatable. Now, I don't know if we're going to get a base icon SBC right away. I don't know if they're going to do the same thing they did last year. But the one thing we do know is EA told us they're going to be dropping icon SBCs, icon player SBCs this year in foot. And they're going to be dropping in late November. So that would mean possibly with this next season on Friday, I guess you can consider that late November since we're in the second half of the month right now, or they could honestly wait until the actual date of Black Friday. So, and the reason why I'm putting this video out now too is because there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be talked about in the next couple of days leading up until this Friday, right? This Friday, which would be the 20th. Uh, there's a lot of people that are talking about SBCs coming this Friday. That's when some people think the first icon SBC will be. And of course, with all the player of the months coming out as well, that is making this SBC fodder get inflated. Now, the big thing is if the SBC that comes out on Friday is not a base icon or any sort of repeatable icon SBC, I do not think you are going to see the fodder market rise. SBC cards are not going to rise up that much because again, the thing that people are looking at from last year is a repeatable SBC that continually takes coins and cards off the market and SBC that a lot of people want to do. If the first icon SBC that comes out, whenever it comes out, whether it's this Friday or later, if it's not somebody like a Zidane, an Eto, it's gonna be a baby or middle version, obviously, because the primes are not out yet. And EA said it's gonna be a version of cards that are available in packs at the time of the SBC. It's got to be a really, really hype SBC for even to even make some of this stuff go up. I really honestly think that it does. It has to be a very hype SBC because um, it, it's got to have some sort of demand for it that is very, very, very high. And I just don't know this stage of the game if it's an SBC that is over a million coins, if a lot of people are going to go out and do it. If it's even like a big name card, we'll, I, we'll see, right? It just depends on what card they choose. And I am thinking there's a higher percentage chance that they're gonna put out a middle or base icon, actual uh, icon SBC, not the upgrade for an actual player um, that is just not gonna be that hyped. Like they could do somebody like middle Michael Owen, right? And that would be an SBC that if they priced it at, he's a 550,000 coin card, they might price the SBC at like 700K. And then you're like, well, that sucks, right? And there's one or two SBCs that come out this Friday. And then you see all this fodder kind of crash down. So that's kind of what I'm thinking could happen if you're seeing this fodder continually rise into this next week. Now you're not gonna see rises like this, right? I'm looking at um, Chiellini and PK from last year. Uh, Chiellini going from 25,000 coins all the way up to 50. You're not gonna see this sort of rise this year unless we get a repeatable SBC. And since you're already starting to see some rises on a guy like Lewandowski, who's down at 55K just a couple days ago and is now up to 60, if you see your cards going up, um, you know, Lewandowski, he's already up almost 10% almost up 6,000 coins for a 60K card. If this reaches like 63, 62, 63, 64,000 coins, by the time we get to Friday, do you take the cash? Honestly, I would think about it, especially maybe not on a 91 rated card because that's gonna be, if there's 89 rated squads that are needed for any of the Icon SBCs or uh, for a player of the month Mbappe, that would be somebody that would be very high in demand. But especially on the 85s, the 86s, the 87s, if th these cards are already up, right? Some of these like Hummels is 15,000 coins. You probably could have snagged this on Thursday. Yeah, you, the dude was 13,000 coins and now he's already up to 16K. That's kind of, if he goes to 17, 18,000 coins, I'm considering taking my cash if I have like 50 of those on my transfer list, right? Just because that way you'd have no risk. And I know it makes a, no sense. Like why would I wait for the SBC to come out? But um, I think it's very possible that you might be able to save yourself, take the guaranteed profit, 
And if, you know, Mbappe's SBC is probably going to be very overpriced. Lewandowski is going to be overpriced. Probably doesn't have that much hype. Now, of course, EA can do whatever they want with those SBCs, but this might be something that we see related. This is Messi's Player of the Month SBC breakdown from last year. And Mbappe SBC about now probably could be valued around the same. Based off of how much M uh, Mbappe is, he's 1.3 million coins. He's down 250k from where he was. Three 89 rated squads, two 88 rated squads, an 87 and an 86 last year for Player of the Month Messi. When this came out in December, I believe this was like a 2.3 million coin SBC and it rose to like 2.5 mil at the most expensive time. So I would not be surprised if a Player of the Month Mbappe SBC was somewhere around the ballpark of 2 million coins plus because that would be a range where EA could set it that some people might still kind of do it and they could drain some coins off the game. But also think about it from EA's standpoint, right? Does EA really want you as somebody in the game? They're not going to give out a cheap Mbappe player of the month SBC that they want a lot of people to go and complete. No, they wouldn't want that because they want you to want the Mbappe card that is the best on the game. So as Mbappe possibly gets, um, you know, I'm not going to say team of the year, but maybe team of the year. I don't know uh, what happens with that this year, but you know, maybe a team of the group stage card or other special cards, other informs this year in foot. They don't want you putting all your coins into one item that you're going to use for the rest of the year. Uh, yes, they'll put that item out. They'll make you pay a lot for it, but they want you to use the other special cards that come after that because then you have more of a possibility. Let's say you're, you're selling the gold card when a new inform comes out, right? Uh, because you want to buy the inform. Well, you buy the inform the first week and it drops 300k going into the team of the year and then you buy the next special card which comes out after team of the year and you lose coins on that because prices are continually going down for like the second half of the year and that just is where EA can possibly make some money off of you because then you have to go buy FIFA points to get your coins back. So I don't think they'll make the Mbappe SBC cheap by any means, which is another reason for me why I would think the SBC fodder wouldn't move too much. Now, I mentioned to you guys buying all these cards earlier. I mentioned buying SBC fodder cards like earlier last week. And if you did that, you're chilling because all this stuff is up a decent amount and you're looking pretty good about it. But the question is, again, do you want to ride it out and wait for a potential icon SBC if you think they're going to do a base icon upgrade? Could they do that again? I think it's possible, but we'd never know. Um, you never know, right? That's that's how it is with all of this content. You really never know. But again, this is kind of all that I have to say on the SBC fodder spectrum and talking about all of these cards. Of course, the higher rated ones are where a lot of people are investing their coins right now. The 84s and the 85s, yes, they're inflated. But the 87s to the 89s uh, and to the 90s and 91s, that's where a lot of people are putting their coins right now. And those would be the ones that I would be the most careful with at the moment, just because of, um, because that's where people's investing. There could be over investing there and that could cause those cards to drop off when the SBCs actually come out because the SBCs come out, everybody has been told to buy up fodder. And instead of stuff going up, stuff gets listed right away because people think it's supposed to go up. They don't have any patience and then there's undercutting and the stuff actually goes lower. So that's going to be a situation that we are looking for this week, uh, later on this week in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team related to SBCs, the Player Month Mbappe, Lewandowski, and potential icon SBCs headed into Black Friday. Now, again, we'll make some more videos on this in the future, but usually when Black Friday comes around as well, those first couple days with the pack supply, lightning rounds, a lot of fodder does drop off. So we'll talk about that then, but at least for this week, you might be, you know, better off selling in the hype with some of this stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.